Hey, what's up, guys? This is uh, Re Reconquista Prep 88, uh, December 12th. No, no, no. December 7th, 2023. My bad. <laughs> um, so for today, the schedule was Thursday. So I was to wake up at 8 a.m., stretch at 9.30, soccer at 10, edit at 11, eat at 2, work at 3, and sleep at 12. What I actually ended up doing was I woke up at 8.15. And as you guys notice, the wake up time has been getting better over time. I'm only missing it by like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, not bad. And then I stretched at 9.35. I went to go play soccer at 10.30. I edited at 11.30. Um, I ate at 1.30 and I went to work at four. And then I ended up sleeping early at 11.55 p.m. So as for Uber Eats, I did $152.70. So this was a very good work. They won probably one of the probably best ones we've seen the whole series. Um, I don't know why. I must have just been cooking. And for Bumble Prime, I did one Bumble Prime video. TikToks, I did zero. As for fix, I put focus, work, and ate too much. So Probably what I meant by that was, um, what did I mean by that? Focus, I know what I meant. Focus, I know, but focus, focus, whatever I mentioned, focus in these videos is to talk about um, being disciplined in the time and actually getting these videos done and getting all the other side projects done for the day. Um, like we saw today, I did a one moment prime video, which is kind of like the, the baseline of what I should be doing. And I did, but I did zero TikTok. So uh, that's probably what I mean by focus. And for work, that's probably what I meant as well. Because um, actual work went pretty well. And then I ate too much. So that's in 198 calories. We'll go back to it at the end. But um, I could probably do better. As for the notes and reflections. I said uh, they went pretty well today. There needs to be more focus on the editing. And once I catch up, I know I'll feel more relaxed. So yeah, that's what I meant by focus. I'm sorry if some drink some water. <clears throat> so yeah i think i just feel a little behind and then if i get all the videos done i'll feel more relaxed and i have been getting them done and well let's keep reading i said got one video done today but i could have gotten two or three done i know that i'm dreading doing the daily blogs blog ones because i don't know how to edit them yet but i must just bite the bullet in and the rest of the videos will follow. And it is kind of true. And what ended up happening is I kind of developed, I just kind of came in the night, I was driving one day and then I just got the idea to kind of do like the soccer on the background for like B-roll and then actually me talking and then showing things on the side. So I actually ended up de developing like, I guess the most simple formula I could for these videos. I'm guessing it'll progress over time and I'll probably change it, but um. This is probably like the base mode and like the first real, I guess, structured video format that I've done for these vlogs. And that it has helped me a lot because now I have like a, how can I explain it? Like a formula. So it makes it more simple. Very good news from the lawyer today. The car settlement for the Kia Rio is about to be done. So we might get our money soon. He said, I'll get between five to seven K which would be a Deus Ex Machina moment. <laughs> oh, for people that don't know what a Deus Ex Machina moment is, it's, it's like a, it's what happens in movies when at the end of the movie, like there's like no solution and the main character like can't do anything, but like out of nowhere, it's almost like a solution from God comes down and they somehow end up like solving the problem. So it's almost like we've been struggling this whole time with that and we're getting our deal sex mocking moment where money just comes out of nowhere and it fixes most of the problems. Um, which is not bad. I don't wanna suffer this whole thing. It's not about suffering unnecessarily. So um, I'll use to get rid of my debt and to proceed with the, with the lawyer fees for my DACA renewal. If that robbery attempt didn't happen, I would be cooking right now. I have made peace with the real being totaled but this one still pains me because the financial repercussions sent me back crazy, which is true. Um, it's like, so my main problem with this was the, the gear reel got totaled and I was very sad about it. I'm very sentimental with my, 
or like sentimental and loyal to to like I don't know people cars things so that real it was like dang it was my first car and it got totaled and then I had like a good like um like payment plan and everything so I was kind of I was sad about it but I was like ah whatever it happened and I got a Dukia Forte and well when they attempted to to steal it I was just like ah like, I don't know, very disillusioned, especially because it, it, it messed me up financially really badly. Um, I think I showed you guys it cost over like 2K to just fix everything and get it all up and running again. But since I'm doing Uber Eats and stuff like that, it cost me about two, three weeks of work. So like the, to fix it, it cost me 2K, but I lost around like five to six thousand dollars for the whole thing because i didn't work those weeks since i didn't work those weeks i didn't i didn't work those weeks so then i couldn't get the money then so then they sent me back go like crazy but it must have been for a reason because then i figured out that my doctor's expired because i started applying to jobs crazy and i got that one job so, so maybe it was all supposed to work like that. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe if I waited longer, I would not be able to get any more. And then I would have been truly fucked. So, I don't know. Maybe it was all for a reason. I'm going to believe that so I can cope out of feeling pity for my car's situations. Um, worst thing is that whoever did it won't even get in trouble. False. God will come. Whoever tried to steal my car, you didn't get caught by the cops. God will get you one day. Um, maybe God is just testing my resilience. And there's like two quotes from the Bible that really always stick with me. It's one is too much, to whom much is given, much is tested. So whenever something bad happens to me, I always go back to that one. And then the other one is, I don't know if exactly where it is, but like for what is the man, I don't know how to say it's like, it talks about why would a man want everything in the world? If he has to lose his soul in the process. And that is when I'm like about to do something. Do bad decision. Or like do something for the wrong things. And I'm like. Why would I do this. If I lose my soul in the process. But for this one. It was mostly about too, too much is getting much is tested. Because I'm like oh today. Maybe things are in the future will be better. And God's just testing my resilience. To see if I fall. Which I have done before when I was younger. But I feel you now that I'm a little bit wiser. I know not to let it affect me too much and just to move on. Um, I always come back with, uh, I forgot what I read this, but it was like, oh, like, think about the, the worst day of your life. And then you are alive today, you know, like you, you got through it. So it, it can't be that bad. It seems to me like next year will bring good things, which is true. Maybe I'm propagandizing. <laughs> I don't know, is that a word for uh, propaganda? For continually propaganda, I don't think it's not anything. Propaganda, I don't think it's a word, but I'll make it a word. No, that's improper English. Um, I'm spreading propaganda to myself over time that this year will be a good year. 2024 will be a good year, and it seems. Well, you know what? I'm gonna keep doing that because I keep telling myself it will be a good year, and then good things are happening. This 2024 again, this from the future, coming looking back. So I'll just keep doing that. So maybe good things will happen because I believe the good things will happen. Um, this is the year of the dragon, so I need to use it to my advantage to build and finish the Reconquista goals. Um, so yeah, I'm in Chinese year. I was born in dragon year 2000. And yeah, this year is 12 years. Um, I guess the second cycle, so the second dragon year that I've lived through. And supposedly, um, it's supposed to be a very good year for me. So maybe, like I said, maybe I'm just believing it. And then I'm actually acting like I will have a good year. So my actions are making it cost a good year. But also my beliefs. So it's both um, your mind and your right hand. We talked about this before. So, yeah, maybe it's that. Actually start to build something valuable and let go of the past grievances. We'll see what happens. But it seems like things might go in my favor for a change haha <laughs> this is self-pity last sentence right there i'm catching myself now though um so yeah pretty much it very hopeful year 
and hopefully uh, next year or this year because i'm ordering 2024 here but when i was writing this i was in 2023 we'll start cooking so far it's been so good foreshadowing and i know i've done this every day video but it's hard to ignore what i've written in the past to what's happened to me now <laughs> because it's kind of answering myself almost i'm looking back on the questions i'm like oh did this happen i'm like oh yeah i did so that's why it's quite funny and that's why i tell you guys um, so my bad if i ruin it spoiler for the two or three viewers i have anyways <laughs> but that's pretty much it for today and i'll see you guys next time